Alright everybody, welcome back to the Mofa project and uh, today we're gonna be working on that. So, um, today, uh, if you didn't notice, yeah. today we're gonna be working on, uh, because, did we do that one yet? Uh, not fully. We need to fix this part right here and then, then we're gonna go down here, fix that part up and then hopefully, you know, uh, yeah, fix the empty void parts and then, uh, we're almost at the. We're almost done. So, uh, yeah, uh, let's get started on this. So the main problem I actually had to deal with today was like, uh, and it's all dark. Of course, it's dark. Give me light. No, you don't want to give me light. One sec, I need to fix this bloody mess. Ah, jeez. Ah, that I uh, problems with the light. The lights were a thing, so you know, that's a thing that can happen. Um, so yeah, today we're gonna be working on the last part that we left behind. Uh, last time we actually fixed most of it, so we are now going to get the last part in of this, so let's hope that also works. So what do we need? We need the dark color that we need. Yes, that one. Awesome. So if we now look at what we have colored in, which are these things right here. This is one color, this is color two, and color three. Now we're going to be working on color three, so let's see how far we can pull that off. Oh boy, right, I can do this. Nice, it works as intended. How lovely. So yeah, um, I did actually not do the morning stream today because I actually uh, was a little bit worried about my hand, just being just to be safe of it. And already can, I can still feel the cramp that happened yesterday. So I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna be doing a morning st uh, drawing because you now my arm also needs rest. So. Uh, don't want to be over overdoing it and therefore you know I didn't do the morning drawing the good news is though I believe you know tomorrow it will be all fixed so that's good and uh, once that's done then uh, everything can turn back to normal I believe so tomorrow I will be doing the morning drawing again just in case but yeah, it is it is time of you know issues. You need to realize like, oh well, uh, this is happening or this is happening. You need to realize that it is important for us. Yeah, it's important for everybody. Well, for me at, at least, it's important that I do the things that I need to do. For instance, you know, once uh, when I do a drawing, I need to make sure that I always have my hands, well, you know, not being tired or broken. So I don't want to be doing that too much, otherwise, you know, I might break my hand and that would be horrible, so yeah. I like to keep my hands healthy and steady. So not work like, you know, not working on it for like for a day fixes a lot of problems and that those problems can then, you know, because they are fixed, it's good for us. Well good for me because I can then do the old and drawing again tomorrow. So yeah, that's what I did, and in the meantime I just watched some anime, so uh, good for me, I guess. You know, it's not like a day off or anything. No, no, no. Still need to do a walk today, so gonna be doing that. And then, uh, hopefully I will be able to do my stuff. So yeah. Oh hey, Cryag. Hello, Blue. Yeah! How is it going with me? Well, I uh I have less trouble with my hand now, so that's good. 
I uh, I had a little bit of cramp in my hands because of the high uh, work on the because of the high work on my uh, well the high work that I did that is uh, you know working on the morning drawing so I uh, I fixed that that's what I did that's a seal of you arriving that is good that means that I'm doing a good job I think I believe yes 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 I do so yeah um it's actually quite funny to see that you know a lot of stuff I am actually doing you know involves into uh, you know just me doing casual stuff like you know the, the drawing is uh you know almost finished but I need to fix certain types of things for instance one of those things is actually fixing the uh, texture on the hair so therefore you know that's why we're actually doing first the coloring here and then we're gonna then move on to the next part hopefully you know this is not gonna be backfiring too much because you know that would suck so uh, let me get let me see if I can get this correct yes awesome this works as intended nice so yeah um a lot of this stuff is just you know being able to fix it and then you know go back into the thing that I wanted so um yeah I'm just hoping that you know once this all is done I will be able to get to where I want it to be and where I want to be is you know being able to done with this because once this part is done I will be I will be almost done for you know the whole drawing because then I can then finally focus on the background the background is gonna be a whole lot of story though which is probably you know I want to I need to make sure that I have I need to talk to Hacks about it like what he wants, what he wants to have for it, and then you know I will be able to get what I want. So I'm probably now babbling on, so yeah, that also works. Babbling. Did you know by the way that actually uh the word barbarian actually comes from the Romans not knowing what other people were saying, so they were saying like, Well they talk like sheep. Well then we're gonna call them barbarians. Because bear, bear, you know? Not knowing what the people say, that is, uh... Ah, alright. It's in the tail. Nice. Where in the tail is it? Is it this part? I don't know. This part? Yes. Alright. Damn, that's a lot of stuff. Alright, I can do that. I can do that. I need to make a map on this. Map, uh, quick group, yes. And then I need to add a paint layer to it. I need to put a paint layer underneath it, and then I need to figure out if this is all right. If I draw here, would that? And I don't use the draw. All right. If I draw over here, will that cause this to be erased? No, it does not. Nice. Good. So what does get erased then? Ah, alright, so this is all the it's all theirs. So this is all that colour. Alright, cool. It's actually not bad. Just gonna go for an obvious colour just to see where I need to go draw. Alright. Now that we've done that, we're gonna erase that and then we're gonna go for, you know, then we're gonna pick up the color that we need. Why am I doing it like this? Because otherwise I won't be able to tell where and where not the color is. So, yeah.
it's good to know that I'm actually, you know, quite able to calculate what, what whatever I need to do. Now, you know, we're gonna use the alpha version to get everything back to where it's supposed to be. Interesting. This place right here does not exactly implement it. Nice. It's a lot of work, you know, just coloring things in. It's quite relaxing, so, you know. It's just you know, coloring, 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 and then you know, you know, if you know everything that there is. So, um. Now the quick question is like, should I move this downwards? Should I move this into the part that is, you know, this part? Probably not. We can do this like this. We just need to be aware that, you know, technically this needs to be underneath it. So technically this part from the group of the tail needs to actually be underneath the uh, hairy part. So, I think I will do that, but first I need to just get this thing done. Otherwise, you know, I won't uh, be able to think properly. It's quite funny how much stuff actually needs to be done. Alright. So, this group needs to be underneath the... Underneath group, yeah. Can I give me, give me underneath the group of this bad boy? Alright, now we need to figure out where the tail part is that is white. Yes, awesome. Alright, uh, successfully done that. Now I need to put this back into the hairy part, so I need to put this back into the coloring. Nice, now it's back in the grip. Alright, cool, cool. Da, come on. Come on. There you go. Now, since that we've done that, we can now actually go to this one. Select the color that we need. Well, the color that we need actually now is this is going to be the first color there is, so it should be this one. And then we're going to be figuring out like what do we need to do? Because I know that there are some parts here that needs to be fixed, definitely. Which is true, which is true, but I don't mind fixing them now. It's quite funny how this is actually blue or green now. Wait. Is everything green? Oh, everything is green. Oh, God. How did that happen? How in the bloody fucking hell did that happen? How did everything turn green? Uh, wait a minute. This is had to do with... Hmm. Something ain't right here. So everything is green. Since when is everything green? Why is everything green? Why the fuck is everything green? I thought everything was brown. I did something. I did something. Because this part is good. And then suddenly everything turns green. Hmm. Everything was green to begin with. It was all green in the beginning. Huh. Well, 
I don't mind being green though, but it's a little bit confusing. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yep. Somehow I created a drawing that looks green. Ha! Huh. It's a it's a reflection, isn't it, of the colors coloration? So. Eh, eyes. Nope. It is green. Ha! Huh. Strange. Very strange that this actually is green now. So we actually use brown with green. Ha! Huh. I never noticed that. Well, good for me that I know it, know it now. Therefore, therefore, you know, I won't be able to, you know, be screwing it up anymore. But, uh, yeah. Somehow, uh, this turned out to be green. Now, of course, we need to make sure that everything that we do is uh, correctly placed. So yeah, it's quite funny how, you know, we're still missing some textures here and there, but uh, it will be fixed. Textures are the easiest ones to fix. The uh, main problem is, you know, be like, oh, well, uh, why is everything green? I have no idea. So, uh, I don't know if everybody noticed that as well, that everything is green, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, a little bit off guard. I'm a little bit caught off guard by that. It's like, I never knew that this was all green. I never was uh, informed. Hmm. But yeah. And now we actually need to zoom in on this. But anyway. Did I remove... Blue, red, green, yellow, yes. Everything is there. Huh. I never knew that it was actually green in there. I never knew. Quite funny, actually. Quite funny. Yeah, um... So... Uh... I was a little bit caught off guard by that. Ugh, jeez, Louise. But, uh, yeah. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind that I drew a little bit too green. Oh well. You know, it's a good, it's a good color anyway. You know, it's a good color to hide. If you have foliage, you know, it, it actually works quite well. Because, you know, brown and green are really good colors to hide yourself among trees. And, uh, you know, predators won't disturb you too much, because green is good. So, yeah, uh, let's see, we need to get over here, fix that part over there. And then, not, we're then after that, we are actually using the color that we need. So, these things... Oh. Huh. No, it's still brown. It just looks green. Ah, my head hurts. Yep, my head hurts. My head hurts like a truck right now. Not because of a lot of stuff, but more about like, well, what kind of colors are you gonna pick? Well, technically, we technically need to use these colors right here. Because we're using the, uh... Because we're actually using the colors of the other ones right here that already have been decided. So we're using this color. I should make the size a little bit small. There you go. Alright. So... Huh. 
It's actually quite funny how much stuff actually goes on here. So if I had like these things and then you know add the mesh to it. Yep. Creates the color that I want. It's quite funny how much uh, you know goes on in color. Jeez. Sometimes you get really confused when you're using colors. Definitely get confused by colors sometimes. It is the problem that actually, you know, the colors cause me to think like double twice. So normally I would not have this problem. But because this color is like, oh well, look at that, that's green. And it's like, wait a minute, was that green all along? And I was like, yes, it was. So I'm very confused. I'm very confused. I'm just gonna check something. Hold your horses. Just checking something. Maybe, you know, we oversaw something. Discard the autosave and open the main file. Yes. I wanna know. Was it green all along? Did I did I li did I made a mistake? Tell me, my friend. Did I made a mistake in the Morpha project? Therefore, creating non-green effect. Just one sec. I need to double check something because that's important. Was it green all along? 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 Let's see. Yes, it was green all along. Alright, good, 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 good. That means that I did not make a mistake here. And I can successfully save this. You know, better save the sword. That's always what I do. The main problem was like, oh my god, it's 5.5 gig. And it says like, watch out, it's red. It's like, eh. Just save already, you dumb idiot. People say that 5 gigabyte of gig is uh, a lot. Well, by the looks of it, yes, that might be. Hmm. Since it is a lot, how do we lower that? We don't. Huh. We just don't. We're just making a heavy project, that's what. Oh well, you know. It happens. Probably the boat project is uh, is 5.7. I believe it is. So yeah, um, projects can get really big if you're using a lot of layers. Therefore, it is actually quite smart to use to lower the layer amount. But I'm not doing that because otherwise I have I make mistakes in the drawing itself. Therefore, you know, if we want to export, if we want to export the drawing, we're of course gonna be you know converting it to PNG so that you know we don't have any layers anymore which then you know makes sure that we don't screw ourselves over so yeah it's quite funny how much stuff actually goes around here But yeah, um, one of my problems is always that I'm using big size files. Oh well, you know. Of course, I'm gonna be using big size files. You know, that's what the, prog the program is warning me. Like, hey, you're doing making it too big, and it's like, I don't care. My PC can handle it. That's also important. But. But with, uh, for instance, if you're gonna go for a three D modeling, uh, for a three D model design, you don't wanna do that because otherwise, you know, things go really bad. 
Also, it only says green. It only says yellow. So it says like, watch out! It's big. It's like, all right, thanks. I guess. So yeah, um, if you have a model with too many polygons, always try to lower it down. Otherwise, you uh, get a lot of problems. Trust me. Of course, you want to have a decent amount of polygons. You just don't want to have a lot of polygons in certain types of places where it is unnecessary. Otherwise, you're gonna have a really nasty little brew of a, of a, uh, of a system file. And there we go. Easier than that cannot be done. So uh, let's see. What did I learn today? Uh, let's see. We learned that my f that 5.5 gigabyte of file is already a lot. We also learned that uh, apparently I have been working with green all along. I never knew that. I uh, I uh, fully didn't know. So uh, I uh, rather want to fix that. So yeah. Oh well. Gonna be doing my very best to get things done. <laughs> Anyhow, the funny thing is actually that uh, all of this drawing is just you know very, very easy to do. You know, just keep on. You just need to keep on with the uh, type of you know things that you need to do. Like for instance, I need to draw certain types of blah 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 stuff. And so I do that. Right here, for instance, I need to make sure that I have everything I have everything colored. So I will just color I start coloring, for instance, the tail, and then you know I finish off the tail and then I start with a new part. So that I don't get overwhelmed by all the stuff that I need to draw. Because trust me, there is a lot of stuff I need to draw. But the good news is, you know, that that amount of drawing stuff is uh, limited to a certain amount. So that's good. All right. Of course, you know, once this is all done, I uh, I'm going to be celebrating myself because definitely I will buy myself some cake or some nice little thing to uh, celebrate my uh, achievement of making the Morpha project full fully colored. Oh yeah, that will be the best celebration I ever did. Buy myself some cake and then celebrate it. Of course, we're not gonna go for cheap cake. Oh hell no, we're gonna go for something good. I'm thinking about uh, um, strawberry or abrikose. I don't know which one that is uh, in English. Uh, the it's the it's the yellow thing. The yellow thing uh, it looks a little bit. It looks a little bit like mangoes when you chop it down and put it into. Um, uh, Put it into you know into little slices, but yeah, it's very good. Peaches, yes, peaches is the word. Why do I am I'm so bad at it? Oh my god, I'm so bad at English. Cheese, it's peaches. Why the hell did I forgot that? Oh well. Anyway, um, yes, uh, I like to have myself some uh, nice little cake. Oh well, pie, my great pie that is uh, full of peaches. I really like that. And then with high amounts of sugar on it. Oh, that's going to be great. The funny thing is actually we have like a, a certain type of, uh, well, pie that is uh, not known for in a lot of places. You know, we have the, we have the Limburgse, Limburgse pie. Limburgse pie is... Uh, is different than normal pie normally because normal pie actually is like you know is actually cake on top stacked on top of each other 
you know, cake pla uh, little plates of cake, and then you know, uh, with sugar coated on top of it, and then you know, put another one on top and another one on top until you have like a big giant boy. Uh, Limburg Souvlaki is more crusty, so it is bitey and uh, it has a very good, decent crust. Oh man, mmm, with all the sugar in it, it's so good. Of course, you know it's lots of sugar, so we sh should technically not use it that much. Oh well, anyhow, um, so yeah, that's what I did. I um, I'm gonna be doing that. Gonna buy myself some pie once uh, this all this whole uh, stuff is over. Definitely. Let's start from the top. Get everything that we need to do. So yeah. Um. Once this whole thing is done, I will be very happy. Trust me. I will be the happiest person ever. Ah, uh, 30 minutes already in. Lovely. That means uh, tw 10 minutes or 20 minutes left. That's good, because that means we can just fill up the stuff that we need to do. So yeah, baby steps to victory. Doo -doo -doo. Could you imagine it, that I actually worked on this and then realized, like, you know, it took, like, almost a month to get the full drawing done I think more than a month probably but it took me a month to get the it took me a month probably to get the drawing part done it took me not a month to get certain types of coloring done because you know where do you start with the color how do you start with it where how what and those events are very important because you don't if you don't know where you need to start and well, uh, that is indeed a problem. It's quite funny how much stuff actually is need to be done. Oh well, uh, let's see. So once this all is finished, you know, I will be very happy. Because then uh, I can finally start on a new one. And I already know which one, so that's gonna be good! Hey. So, uh, yeah. This is gonna be probably taking some time, but Oh well, it's gotta be worth it. Anyhow, so uh, how are your guys actually day going by? Because I, uh, well, you know, I just did my job. I, uh, I took some rest for my hand so that my hand didn't, didn't get any cramps, and uh, I watched some anime today. <laughs> I hope you guys actually had an exciting day today. Because, you know, nothing beats an exciting day than just, you know, working on your favorite kind of stuff. And that's what I did, at least. So, let's see. How much stuff? When do we need to get stuff done? Well, we technically need to get things done. Yes, we need to get things done. True. And we forgot this part here. Right, because that is a part that we need to draw, right? Yes, we do. Alright. Now we've done that, we actually need to get the oil parts that are connected done, so we actually should... Well, we could do that on a different layer though. Last layer to fill up the little bits that we have left, left behind, yeah. That's a good idea. 
So we do that in the lowest layer then. We're gonna make a casual layer on top of this and we're gonna make it into a map. And we're gonna, you know, fill up the little gaps that we left behind. With the colors that all need to be there. So for instance here, there is a little gap here that we need to fix. Which exists, just only exists because of it. We can, you know, casually, you know, erase a lot of stuff here, but the most important thing is that we are fixing the parts that have been colored in, but, you know, forgot. Uh, also, we need to make sure that this is darkened. Right. So where more? There's one more part over here that we need to fix. Fix it by you know using the march tool a bit. Switch back to coloring. Alright, cool. Now everything is there fixed. Yes, it is. Now we need to get things up and rolling. Now we do need to get things up and rolling. So. Alright. Mm. I did that. Now I need to fix things up on the head. That was the first plan. So we fixed. This is the fixed part. And now we need to go to the head part to fix the part that we have left behind because this part here yes all right this is the hat no the hat is on in the beneath part right it's the yes Let's see where it is. No. Yes. Time to get the drawing done. Pick up the pencil, get it to five, and then go backwards. So yeah, my day is uh, is uh, is all right so far. Still uh, still at work. Nice. Still at work. Not too bad aside from the management pushing orders out of the door left and right. With no <laughs> no hat. <laughs> No head of time. Yeah. That happens, you know. Sometimes management does get... Uh, sometimes management is not always uh, the smartest persons in the world. Especially when it comes to managing. It's quite funny how much uh, actually the management actually pulls off sometimes. I really don't like to get bossed around when I'm, you know working on certain types of things. That's why I'm always like, yeah, I cannot work on the pressure, definitely. I'm a person who is uh, allergic to pressure, so uh, congrats upon that. Pressure is my weakness, as they say always. No, time to get the, the color done. 
This is the first color, right? Yes. Color one. As you can see, actually, we uh, get things pretty good done. I really like it. Hmm. Next color, boom. Shabby mana boom. This is how you do it, you know, you fix the problem that you had, like, you know, you had this big giant opening. You didn't want that opening there, so you erase it. Or, you know, you add some new colors to it so that it actually causes it to look good. And then you go back to the bottom half, which has the uh, annoying part that, uh, you know, that is like right here. So now if we look at it, that looks way better. That looks good. Still missing something. But what? I believe if we remove this part right here... Hmm... If we remove this part right here, would that increase the cool working effect? No, it won't. But this does make it better. This does make it look better. Yes, true. Alright. I'm actually better at under, under pressure most of the times, but uh, uh, unfortunately, I'm also 20% more short tempered then. <laughs> yep. Short temper and uh, under pressure does not work together most of the times. Uh, let's see. Since we want to give this a color, but we don't want to make the color fully there. How do we do that? We need this color to be there. Oh boy. Alright. Think. Think, 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 think. If we want these feathers to be looking way better so we need boop, 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 boop. we don't need that we don't need that we, do, we don't need that we don't need that we don't need all of this we don't need the tail we don't need that we need the wing yes true which is this one right yeah we want that wing to have a different color on it because it needs a color Which color does it need? It needs the brown. Does this make it better? Yes, it does create a better effect on it. Nice. Sadly, we need to make them. We need to get the eraser done then. Yes, true. Yeah, we need to have the eraser sometimes. Yeah. Yikes. I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna copy this color right here. Control C. All right, that's one. Double check. It is how much? Eighty. Uh, almost eighty. All right. This is wing two. I'm gonna have to go to wing wing one. We're gonna make it again. Color overlay. Ninety eight. Delete, paste, 
you go. Now that one has the same color effect as well. Cool. And then we need wing tree. Layer style overlay color. Because we're like, yeah, we we're not gonna be doing that whole damn thing again. We're just gonna be cancelling this, delete that, copy it, add to our collection, look at that. Now it has the whole damn look to it. Jeez Louise. Alright. We need to fix something here, isn't it? There's something here that bothers me. We're gonna fix that. Uh, wing one, is it not? Wing three, yes. I knew it. So it's a problem in the layer? Not this one. No. Come on. No. We need to put it underneath it all. Alright. Yes. Give me that. I'll put it there. Whoop. I forgot something here. Indefinitely. Need this one. I know that uh, my PC is not going to be liking this much, but uh, need to do it. Otherwise, it won't work. Because it has transparency in it, it doesn't work well. That's the whole problem with this thing. So we need to remove the transparency. How do we do that? Well, we add the color to it. As you can see. Of course, this is going to be a pain in the ass to do, isn't it? Oh, yes, it is. This is going to be a pain in the ass to do, right? Can I find any way to color that it represents? It's that color right here. So if we now add, if we now give the I need to make sure that that's so that's the main color that we have. Now we are going lowering it. We're gonna add that stupid. We're gonna add that stupid color to it. Mm. 
now we're gonna add the color to the part because you know we kind of need it to be there. Oh well, at least you know we're we're doing great business here. We're just adding colors to we're adding the color to it to get the transparency gone and the uh, little effect that is uh, very mind-boggling. That is right here, as you can see the ah yes the coloring bug is there as well. Lovely because we have been working on the coloring bot because we have been working on the color and actually uh, it actually malfunctions sometimes oh great because the transparency is there as well how lovely because of the transparency it creates the bug mm. Mm. that's no fun I'm just trying to erase that kind of effect to it Oh, I need to do it manually, and then I'm gonna be really, really pissed. And then I'm gonna be really pissed if it, I need to do this manually instead of you know just easily changed, easily changeable. And I believe I need to do it manually, isn't it? That's gonna be a pain in the ass to do. That's for sure. But this does create the effect that we want. It does. Uh, Help us get rid of some uh, nasty little points that we have been leaving behind. I would say it is more like beauty pr problems, but uh, beauty problems are indeed a thing that we need to fix. So yeah, and we're already 50 minutes in. Ugh, and I'm not even done with this one. As you can see here, they are. You see it? There you go. There you go. See. And I need to do it backwards then, yes. Alright. Let's take a look at it. Is the beauty problem now fixed? Um, for a big thing, yes. For a lot of things, yes. The beauty problem here is fixed at least, that's good to know. And that's good. The beauty problem is actually fixed on this wing. That makes me really happy actually. Why is it always that not it's not there? Ah. Thank you for my clarification on that. So yeah, you could see that there are beauty problems that we need to fix, and those beauty problems are fixable. They're just, you know, quite annoying because, you know, they're they're little. And little problems can be fixed. So, first thing first I'm going to be doing is uh, erase certain types of things. That's going to be... Uh, our first main goal, and that's going to be putting this layer on hold right now. The main problem is this. Um, allow me to just get this thing done. Alright. So, if we remove this layer coloring problem, yeah. This damn thing turns into normal color that we have. The problem is the uh, the pro the problem is actually the um, filter that uh, is actually above it, the trans uh, the motion filter that creates the side effect that causes the color to be problematic. So either we are adding the motion filter later on again, and then you know make it happen it ha make it happen. Or we change the colors entirely by, you know, using the alpha two, or using a second, or using a, a prime layer on top of it, so that we can just, you know, push over it with a brush. All right, I think the second option is a smarter move. 
to put another layer on top um, on on top of the whole damn wing, and then put that into the uh, and then put it into perspective so that we have like you know we have one color of brown for instance that we can use then. But of course it will change the whole damn thing to brown, so we need to put it on tra into a transparency kind of loop to loop de loop. So we don't want it to have fully. So we should then go for the um. We could go technically for the transparency of itself of the layer. Yeah, let's go for that. Anyway, um, I will put the la I will put the fix on now. Uh, but uh, later on we we're gonna you know get this thing fixed properly. So until then, um, this is how it's gonna be looking, and afterwards it's gonna be still looking like this, but you know. In a different way, therefore, you know, no bugs, no bugs on there. Um, yeah, uh, don't mind me if I save this bad boy because holy shit, we actually are now done with all. The, we're now done. We're now only fixing the beauty marks, so that's good. And then, uh, so uh, tomorrow, tomorrow is gonna be Tuesday, and uh, we're gonna fix that big as uh, beauty mark that we have been left that has been left behind on the wings. Wait, today is Tuesday, so Thursday then, right? Yeah, th Thursday. No, wait, you. It. There's. It's the one. It's Donaldach, this. Wait, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? Yes, Thursday. And then Friday. So. Tomorrow, uh, tomorrow we will be doing this again. So tomorrow we're gonna be. You know, working on the wings again, but then we are, you know, fixing the last bits of transparency. And then, you know, once all the wing parts are fixed from transparency, then we're gonna move on to fixing the problem that we are now occurring to, which is the filter problem with another filter. And we're gonna fix that as well. So, also, tomorrow is Thursday. Yeah! Yes, yes, indeed. So, uh, yeah, um, I hope you have all enjoyed for today, and uh, thanks all for watching. And I'll uh, wish you all a lovely day. And until then, until the next time, bye.